All right, Chris, you wanted a uh, little tutorial or recap from your guitar lesson on Sunday. I'm uh, working on my uh, Mary Kay pink and red uh, Charvel today. I'm getting it built. It's not quite finished, but I'm working on it. But uh, good enough for this clip. All right, here we go. <laughs> So your question was how to memorize your pentatonic shapes and memorize where to go as you're sliding in and out of your pentatonic uh, boxes in order to uh, play leads. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we started with an E minor box. That's E root on fret 12 string 6. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide the fretboard in half. Okay. So we're going to have the top four strings, which are uh, 4, 5, and 6, and the bottom ones, which are 1, 2, and 3. This particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to just divide the fretboard in half and work on just the bottom three strings. So our root shape that we're going to work with is an E root, E minor pentatonic. And then we're going to work just with those bottom three strings. Okay, so in order to break out of that box and to memorize where to go when you're connecting shapes, Take a, an, an image in your mind of this shape, and what we're going to do is we're going to expand it to seven frets. We're going to include mixolydian box shape, which is in behind your root. And it's an easy way to remember this in E is it's just between the two dots. Okay, so you have a dot here on 9 and a dot on 15. If you just memorize that you're working now in a seven fret box between those two uh, shapes, it'll uh, give you an image in your mind of where to go. Okay, so the full shape starts with D, so we have and again we're just going to take the bottom three strings of that. Okay, so the last piece that we were talking about is Phrygian, which is going to include all the way back to fret 7, so now we've got one dot, two dot, three dots. So we're connecting the dots from fret 7 to fret 15. That's giving you a visual image in your mind of the box that you're playing. Again, we're breaking outside of your pentatonic box. Okay, so the full shape starting on B in E from there is... Okay, and again, we're just going to use the bottom three strings there. Always trying to land on the root, if you can possible. All right, so that's that's phase one. Phase two of this is to combine these two shapes and to expand the box three string groupings. Okay, so now what we're going to do is an exercise that combines uh, your root shape and a mixolydian in behind it. So here we go. Again, we're using the bottom three strings from both shapes. Now if we do two string groups, three string groups, combining the shapes, combining the two, give you a shape like this. Landing on that root there, again. Alright, now we're going to include Phrygian in behind it. We'll go all the way back. Three string grouping in that would be okay. So that gives you an idea. There, we're looking at a, uh, a a box shape that's now just not a pentatonic root box. So we're going all the way back to fret seven, first dot. Second dot, third dot, seven to fifteen, combining three pentatonic shapes. All right, man. Now the last part of this is to what you want to do is to be able to to move between them, is to have at least one or two licks for each shape. Okay. Then as you're soloing, be able to connect those licks as you're moving down uh, back and forth across your fretboard. 
Okay, so we're going to use licks that we've already covered. I'm going to put them t together for you. So this first lick is your uh, basic pentatonic bend lick. Right? Lick two is going to be out of mixolydian. Just pull-offs there. Right, and this last shape, fridging all the way back to, to fret seven. We'll also include a bend lick where you grab the uh, bottom string uh, on uh, string one underneath. So slow, combining those licks, it gives this. Last shape. All right, man, there you go. Hope that helps. Pentatonic root boxy minor, mixolydian in behind it, phrygian in behind that, three shape grouping, three string groupings, Pentatonic lesson for Sunday.